are discussing building capability and inspiring creativity. And with that, who's our guest? And with that, we have a very special guest, Miss Diana of Pablo Lorenzo, founder of MP School of Makeup Artistry. Hello, Miss Diana. Hello, Miss Diana. Diana. Welcome. Welcome Thank, Thank, you you so for, <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. We're excited. Yes. <laughs> well, me too. So for our viewers who are tuning in, first of all, what does MP stand for? Well, MP stands for Piage Professionnel, which is well, professional, professional Makeup in French. Wow. Oh, okay. I don't even know pronounce. I'm going to stick uh, with MP. MP. So. We'll yes, MP. because at the beginning, we were inspired with what we found in, in, in Paris, mm -hmm. okay, the way they do makeup and, and oh, all the Paris. perspectives. Oh okay. yes, yes. yes. So a lot of that has inspiration. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, and um, this is how MP started. And we said, hey, in the Philippines, this was like, 10 years ago. Oh, We're really? actually on our 11th year. Oh, well, congratulations. Mm -hmm. at the moment. And so, being inspired with how they do makeup in Europe and all that, we, mm -hmm. we, we saw, years. yeah, some 11 years ago, yes. we saw this gap, okay, in what okay. we were doing in the Philippines. We were basically focusing on just like sim simple beauty, and, mm -hmm. which is nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Yes. But there's so much more to makeup than, than just beauty makeup. Okay, oh, can okay. we mm. just do a brief background? So you were in Europe 10 years ago. You studied there? Um, no, I was doing business. I oh, was okay. I was the exclusive distributor of this um, French premium French uh, cosmetics brand. Oh, and, and that was your exposure. Um, and previous to that, I've always been in the beauty industry. Mm -hmm. I've worked with American industry. brands and all that. I've okay. been like brand manager of mm -hmm. makeup brands and oh, okay. skincare brands and very well, credible, right? Yes, yeah, expensive own an background. artist, you're a school in makeup. Yeah, yes. yeah. So, so you know, working in the industry and traveling and meeting people mm -hmm. um, really gave me sort of an idea of what the Philippines can still learn. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. in terms of makeup artistry. Yes. And so this is how MP School was, was founded and how it began. Mm -hmm. Okay, so from Europe, did you resign from that job and then come? came back here in the Philippines to put up the school. Actually, I, I, I had my own business then. That's why I was oh, like the okay. exclusive distributor. Yes. And so I opened another company. And okay, just started opened another school. company. Wow. Yeah, so Entrepreneur. <laughs> <talaga. Yes. laughs> At that time, I was doing both um, retail distribution mm -hmm. yes. and also the school. You were doing mm -hmm. both. So okay. Yeah. Both. Okay. Mm -hmm. So under MP School of uh, Makeup Artistry, mm -hmm. yes. what, is, what is it that you uh, teach there? Um, okay, we teach both the balance of both theory and practice. Theory, mm -hmm. theory yes. at a makeup theory. school. Yes. Okay. And what what is beauty? What what makes us beautiful? Okay. What, yeah. And, and <laughs> it's like digging deeper, no? Yes. 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 From applying yes. products on your face. Or and that. the history of beauty, the history of makeup. Wow. Nice. Because there is a rich history of makeup mm -hmm. in the same manner as there's a rich history of in fashion and all that, you know? Yes. So as an artist, you have to understand what is this concept of beauty? What, what is this notion that we have of what is beautiful? So okay. you understand the history of uh, civilization, <laughs> the human race. Yeah. So you teach yeah. that to your students, but why is that important, being part of your program, to teach the students about mm -hmm. those definitions? Okay. Simply, the title that we had earlier, okay. and, uh, Building Capability and Inspiring Creativity. creativity. Mm -hmm. We believe that um, a makeup artist can't just like simply learn from just like, you know, watching a YouTube video yes. or, or, or just watching a demonstration. Yes. A, makeup, a true makeup artist has to understand why he or she, why she does things and mm -hmm. what he or she should do mm -hmm. when faced with a client, oh, okay. okay, a subject, mm -hmm. uh, or, or even a student, okay, they have to understand the needs and to un to understand needs and what is required to make ourselves beautiful, yes. men and women alike, okay. okay, you have to understand the theory behind it and the, the experience of, you know, humanity, yes. okay, in terms so of amazing. beauty. Parang lang ako. Really? Yeah, yeah me too. I didn't know that there's all of that involved. Yes. It's, it's, it's a bit, actually, a bit deep, okay? Mm -hmm. it's, it, makeup is not a superficial notion. Mm -hmm. So would you say that that's your, your, your difference, your advantage as compared to other makeup schools? Yes, because we um, rigorously implement uh, teaching of theory, mm -hmm. okay? A, demonstration by our instructors who mm -hmm. are practicing makeup artists mm -hmm. and are very active in, in makeup. Uh, and also, lastly, hands-on. The rigors of this one is mm -hmm. what, we, uh, what, we, what we deliver yeah. in mm -hmm. our programs. And so our students really 
learn, okay? Mm -hmm. um, even in a short period of time, they are made capable. Okay. okay. And when they are capable, they have the skills, mm -hmm. and then you can create. It is mm -hmm. only when you have the skill that you can actually create something beautiful. Yes. Something value. Just stop, right? You have now the reason of why you create such. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because yes. first you've imparted with them yung, yung theory and mm -hmm. all that, like mm -hmm. the history and all. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. Yes. I had a misconception. I thought it was more like, okay, this is the shade you use. Right. Of course you teach that. Then we teach yeah. that. That's but the, the other underlying principle, mm -hmm. the purpose of makeup, the definition of beauty in yes. different contexts. To inspire yes. creativity, you have yes. to deal with that. Also. Yes. Yes, yes. Otherwise, you know, you, a makeup artist, is not confident when faced with different situations, different scenarios, mm -hmm. different needs, mm -hmm. if they don't understand why they do certain yeah. things. Yeah. Why? Like the backbone, right? Yeah. Yes, oh, okay. yes. The underpinning principles are mm -hmm. very important. Yeah, so that makeup. they know the, okay, what is the purpose of this client? Are they to showcase the, the model? Are they showcasing yes. the garments? Yes. Are they portraying art? Yes. Is this an expression of of your opinion and things Correct. like that. Yes, yes, because we also teach artistic makeup. We teach face and body painting. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. Let's go now to the services that they yes. provide. Oh, so yeah. those are the services. Yes, we, we are, our program uh, mm -hmm. actually is composed of around eight modules. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Eight modules. Eight modules and um, you can progress. Some, some schools here or abroad, they, they actually offer like big programs that are mm -hmm. very expensive yes. and, mm -hmm. you know, not affordable. Mm -hmm. um, we decided to actually modularize our program so that oh, okay. a makeup artist can actually start from scratch mm -hmm. and, you know, what, just one module, like our, our um, uh, basic course, the entry course, which okay. is um, MP Module 1 Pro. Mm -hmm. Yes. After 50 hours of instruction, you are already able to actually have uh, you know, apply it. Yes. Oh, yeah, you really? can module one. That's palang. module one, palang, oh, and then okay. you can advance to module two, which is mm -hmm. a higher level mm -hmm. uh, program. So, but but at module one, you are able to actually have already. a yeah, have a job, yes. you know, or do your own makeup uh -oh. already. Okay, mm -hmm. but with module two, then you get to a higher level, mm -hmm. ah, okay, okay, of makeup artistry, and you can uh, explore artistic makeup mm -hmm. and more high fashion mm -hmm. makeup. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have a bridal program, a, a bridal module, one. a separate okay. one that focuses on the, the needs of weddings, of For brides, mm -hmm. the okay. groom, the, not just the bride, but the yes, groom yes. in the entourage, okay? And different uh, scenarios, different settings of the wedding, whether it's a day wedding, makeup's different, evening wedding, different makeup. Uh, okay, okay. So, yeah. okay, religious wedding, uh, yes. different culture yeah. wedding. Different cultures, like an Indian wedding would have different... Uh, you teach those? Yes, wow. yes. Okay, fourth module. Uh, the fourth module is actually our, our, our uh, beauty module, personal beauty. So oh, okay. this one, um, sometimes people start with this and then they get interested. Okay, I was just oh, going to say It's not in sequence because we actually began focusing on the pro mm. uh, makeup. Okay. That's why module one is our keystone yes. Uh, yes. module. But it's not in sequence. But okay. four, you can actually take them, as long as you take module one, you okay, can take the, bridal. The beginner one. Oh, yeah, no. you don't have to go through advance. You can go through bridal mm -hmm. as soon as you finish module one mm -hmm. okay. for pro. Yes. But for the personal, we have, um, oh sorry, so the fifth is actually the bridal. Okay. But the module four is the personal okay, uh, module. Yeah. So if you want to do makeup on yourself, you don't want to hire a makeup artist. So that's it. You take it. It's not the same as just going to a beauty counter or just watching a tutorial on, yes. on a video. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, because you will learn like a pro, okay, but on yourself. With your specific features. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. The sixth module. The sixth module, uh, this is the artistic face and body painting. Wow, okay. And um, we teach the face separately mm -hmm. from the body. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then that's a, I think that's the sixth and the seventh. I could get the numbers wrong. <laughs> yeah. There's so many. Yeah, there's yes. so many. So, and then the there's airbrush makeup, oh. which is the oh, last one. Wow, okay. Yeah, we have the airbrush basic mm -hmm. and then the airbrush pro. As you can see, we also consider our clients who are, who are you know, might have a budget constraint. So yes. if you want to yeah. learn just a quick airbrush program you can do the basic That's it. Mm -hmm. and then you want a more intensive one mm -hmm. if I want pro. to enroll and I already have a background like I already have a knowledge on on the makeup artistry I can just pick 
from from those eight modules like on which i w want to specialize on um we suggest that you have a sort of an assessment because oh. the basic is important so it could be different you know, what i learned yes. from somewhere else yes. oh, could be true. different from your principal yes yes mm. and oh. we are very very confident about how our basic uh, the the pro oh. basic course uh, can really teach you and you know so it's like if you were taught a different way or yes. not all the topics were covered then you'd probably be lost if you take like the advanced oh okay, okay. so it's really to benefit them to assess their skills yes. so they can really benefit from the learning yes yes okay. yes my question ko, are there wrong ways also i believe there are different ways on how to learn yes the makeup artistry but are there like wrong and correct ways like for example you assess the person the student and then parang mali pala yung tinuro sa kanya or natutunan niya before do you correct that okay um i, I we don't want to be like judgmental okay. about mm -hmm. about skills because you know it's in fact it's art so yes, that's true. there's a lot of subjective that goes into it mm -hmm. right. so we i would rather not say this is wrong or this is right mm -hmm. but this is the way we do it okay. and this is the way we do it and we guarantee that if you do it this way mm -mm. you learn more Yes, especially in under right. this program. Mm. Okay. It's so nice. Mm. Yes. Interesting. Okay, we're going to roll the tile. Ah, you and Rowan, then you, you can work on me. I'll be your mom. I'll drive you. At MP yes. schools. Yeah. So we learned so much. You have so many programs. When we continue our discussion, uh, we're going to learn why a school of makeup artistry. Why not just yes. learning it on your own? And also, the Randy, sobrang uso nga yung mga YouTube videos. So we will ask you, ano yung difference? Yes. Of learning from there versus a school. Okay, yes. so stay tuned to Daily Insight. So we notice now makeup is so booming yes. these days. You can see everyone is doing makeup. They're yes. all especially this generation. Yes, right? they're all learning it online. So people are wondering why is it important to go to a makeup school? Can't I just learn these things all on From my YouTube, own? From YouTube, right. mm. well, you know, YouTube videos, tutorials, even demonstrations at beauty counters—they're mm. all interesting and yes. it's fun. Okay, yes. it's really fun. And I, I, I don't want to say don't watch these mm -hmm. videos, but to learn the right way to do makeup mm -hmm. requires I think interaction with with an instructor okay with a professional yes, instructor okay. and because when you learn from a YouTube video uh, it's also just one like perspective mm -hmm. uh, usually okay yes. I'm not sure I've not really searched on you know YouTube videos maybe there are really good ones out there but yeah. I think <laughs> it's the same way as when you say why do you have to go to a business school and just not like listen to a YouTube video on business that's true you know what i mean oh. so there's the rigors of 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 of, of um uh the learning and, yes. and and the delivery of of i mentioned earlier theory mm -hmm. okay yes. and practice mm -hmm. and when i say practice the student does a hands-on um the hands-on practice and the, the instructor actually comments and, and teaches based on oh, that. Okay. So you can't have yes. that from a You need to learn it in video. different contexts. Uh -oh. Because when you watch a demonstration, mm. let's say if you're watching a celebrity, mm -hmm. and okay, you know how to do the celebrity, the makeup for that person. Exactly. But you're not necessarily the same skin right. tone, you're not the same type. Yes, and this I think connects with the, what I said earlier. As a pro, you have to be able to address different needs, mm -hmm. assess different situations, oh. and come up with how you're going to actually do the makeup for oh, that yes. And actually, Randy, I think um, um, YouTube videos by, by makeup vloggers are like it's very limiting. Right? Mm -hmm. You just want to copy what they're doing on, on that That's particular what it is. video. It's copying. Yes. But if you actually go to a school, you'll yes. be able to play around it. Right? Yeah. You, have to have, you will have your own style. Mm -hmm. Yes. Your own, you know. can, can I say something about that? Yes. Though? Yeah. yes, the YouTube video could actually limit you to just like this. This is the way. This is the way to do mm -hmm. it. And that's oh, it. Okay. That's true. But if you go to a school, then as I said earlier, different perspectives, different contexts, yes. different cultures, then an understanding develops in the student mm -hmm. on yeah. how to actually apply makeup mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. various situations and, and subjects. Yes, and that's important because let's say, for example, if it's a religious wedding, mm -hmm. and if you do the wrong type of makeup, yes. it might be offensive. On yes. yes. such yes. sensitive occasion or yes. sensitive. Yes. I, 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 I like um, Arabian uh, makeup or Indian weddings, as you mentioned. Yeah. The makeup is different mm -hmm. from when you do uh, an Asian wedding, for example. Yes. Or, you know, so there's aesthetic sense is actually different based on culture. Mm -hmm. And this is, yeah, this is already technical. Yeah. So, so yeah. you don't stop learning also. 
So the, the things yes. that you teach to your students, kailangan kayo din mismo. We have to be alaman. up to date. Yeah. Uh, so we mm -hmm. also have to keep up with the trends in yes. terms of fashion and yes. beauty, in terms of makeup. So it's not just about fashion and beauty. It's also about like makeup products, mm -hmm. the yes. ingredients that right. goes into makeup. Oh, okay. So much technology. Yes. So you go through trainings makeup. in schools also. That's where you... In the past, I've done trainings with um, makeup brands, mm -hmm. okay, and uh, so yeah, different perspectives, different ways of doing <laughs> yes. and all that, and uh, yeah, and my background also, you know, I also teach, I'm a lecturer. So she had yes. Business yes. lectures. Yeah. So, yung background niya, okay na. But yeah. yung, yung mga um, uh, artists natin sa school, you have how many pala po? Um, what, like students? You're, 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 Artists, the, the like one instructors. who teaches. Instructors. Oh, okay. At the moment, we have three okay. uh, instructors. That uh -huh. that um, they are they are not just instructors, but they also are makeup artists in the field. Oh, practicing, in the profession. Talaga. practicing professional. Practicing professional. It's very important yes. to keep up with the trend, talaga. Yes. 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 Because when you're watching a video, you're seeing the now. Yeah. But when you're in a school, they teach you innovation. Mm -hmm. They teach you creativity, yes. right? Yes. That's our that your tagline. And I would just like to add as well. When you're in a school and the instructor teaches you, the practicing makeup artist, the instructors are practicing makeup artists. So yes. there are tips that sometimes, well, you don't necessarily get from just mm -hmm. watching a video. Yes. yes. Okay. So like there are backstage tips and oh, ways of doing yeah. things. Insider tips. Insider yeah. tips. And also, um, it's not also just applying the makeup. Mm -hmm. How do you get along with celebrities? How do you actually, oh, you know, nice. deal with That's them? True. You know, customer service, mm -hmm. not just like it is. merely applying the makeup, the product. It is, and oh, thank you for saying service. Mm -hmm. Makeup artistry is actually a service as well, yes. and this is a very important thing that makeup artists have to understand. Mm -hmm. So you have to understand your client. Ayun, okay. So you teach even just of the skills, the principle, but how to be a professional, how to yeah. build a career out of your clients. Yes, how yes. to deal with them in this type of industry. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. this is very important to us because um, we look at our students as in a holistic manner. Okay. okay, not just okay. I'll teach you the skills and just go on your oh. way. And we want to empower our uh, students to be able to make a career out of it. Yes, and it's a job starting a career in makeup artistry. Diana. So how do you empower your students also to get into that business? Okay, so um, good question. Yes. Aside from, aside from, of course, teaching them the teaching skills, them. Okay? Okay, nice and skills. inspiring the way they, they, they create yeah. art, um, we also have an internship program for, oh, for okay. our graduates to actually be backstage and mm -hmm. to, you know, to join like fashion shows, oh. production, oh. editorials, events. Nice. Um, we take them, our instructors mentor them, so they go as a team. Oh, okay. so, so nice. you have these partnerships with, yes. with these other uh, professionals, designers, oh. yes, uh, uh, fashion labels. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's my immersion, you know, to yes. the, the real world mm -hmm. after the school. It's important because um, classroom is different, okay. and mm -hmm. actual is different, mm -hmm. re real life is different. Plus, the networking that goes on yeah. is also something the that is that valuable. They meet, mm -hmm. of course. Yes, and then they get to be known and all that, yes. and um, this is something that. Yeah, helps them. Actually, gives them confidence. Oh, oh. very but important. Na, parang, um, marami sila makikilala, mm. and they know how to act with you know yes. this particular yeah. event or, yes. or with people. Yes. yes. Yeah. So it's so important that they're in it. They see it. They see yes. what's going on. Yes. Because other schools, um, they are limited to just the classroom. Yeah. And Perfect. just what you see, what goes on the face. But when you're in the stresses, that you're go model after model, go go. go. <laughs> yes, it's different where you're there, and yeah. then the, the the environment is different. It's mm -hmm. you don't have sometimes you don't have the, 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 the lights, you don't have the, so it really is something that has to be learned mm -hmm. in practice. Right. Yeah. Also, Ms. Diana, I think they also learn yung mga, may different personalities of clients, yes, right? Of Especially course. the models, you know, how to, to deal with them, yung mga irate, yung mga or medyo sensitive yeah. clients. Yes. They get to learn. Absolutely. They get to see. Absolutely. <laughs> that is really the experience right. that is gained so there. So nice for that it's actually part of your 
of the modules. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's part of your curriculum, of course. Yes. We, the, all of the, the things that we learn, theory, you have to learn theory. Yes. You have to learn skills, uh, real life experience. Yes. But yes. Do, do you also teach them how to be business men and women? This is what we are adding because, mm -hmm. as I've said, we've done our t uh, 10th year was last year. This is our 11th year. We would like. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's been a decade. Yeah. And at this point, because also of the changes in the industry, the beauty industry, mm -hmm. and, and the needs mm -hmm. of beauty you know, in the Philippines, we've decided that we should empower our students with a business with business knowledge mm -hmm. so that they are able to manage manage their careers mm -hmm. and also um, careers as makeup artists, mm -hmm. but also like if you want to join like a company, a beauty brand, yeah. you know, yes. you have to understand the business side of, of the beauty mm -hmm. company. So, mm -hmm. you know, this builds on their yes. skills. If you want to hire clients, how do, what's the right, right. price for this type yes. of occasion? Are mm -hmm. you making a profit? Or mm -hmm. are you spending too much? You know? It should how be do you make price a, it? Uh, you know, how do you select your clients? Yes. What is your cost? Direct cost? Okay, doing doing I think your title should be School of Makeup and Business. <laughs> <laughs> I think I like <laughs> that. <laughs> I do <laughs> like that. <laughs> or di ba, parang Idea. putting your, I mean, one of the modules talaga. Mm -mm. You do. Yeah. yeah, and that's what's different that's versus the other schools. They limit you to just the classroom. But here, you like what you said, you are empowering them yes. to start their careers, whether yes. or not they're interested in just a personal uh, appearance mm -hmm. or in starting a career out of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, ma'am, um, it's in this generation, nabanggit natin kanina millennials, they really want to get into makeup artistry and mm -hmm. all that. How would you encourage them to to really get into that, like make it their their profession? Okay. As compared to yung mga traditional natin, I want to be an engineer, lawyer, yes. doctor. <laughs> like it, <laughs> di ba po? Yes. Yeah. Um, well, if you have passion for makeup mm -hmm. and beauty, mm -hmm. uh, you could make makeup artistry a career mm -hmm. but it, you could it's it's a wide range actually you can mm -hmm. like focus on the creative and just yes. like you know be a makeup artist yes. and get like clients and all that you could have a salon you know what I mean oh, that's true. you could work for a beauty brand and mm -hmm. when I say work for a beauty brand you could work at the counter and be a makeup artist at yes. a counter or a store a boutique which beauty brands are have you noticed they're yes. all like boutiques now not yes. just a counter so and then of course you could also go to the business side of it and be like a, a marketing manager or a mm -hmm. brand manager mm -hmm. and oh, knowing okay. the skills of makeup is a plus <laughs> Okay, right. you could be part of the marketing communications team. Right. You could be part of R and D. Mm -hmm. You have Correct. to understand how makeup works. And Correct, because yes. you can't talk about it without knowing how to. Develop. Yes, and that's what you teach them. It is an industry. It's yes. a business that has different sectors. It's a wide range of possibilities and opportunities yeah. for for young men and women. Yeah. And it's very rewarding. That was very profitable talaga siya. And the perks that you get. Yes. You look <laughs> good. <laughs> you look good. Going to events also. Yes. Really glamorous yes. events. Experiencing yes. things that you have never yeah, would have imagined before. And all that. Fashion yeah. makeup. They I would like to it. add though, you could also go into the fashion industry and be a fashion designer and you have to understand also makeup is the whole look. You could yes. be a stylist. Yes. You could be a photographer if you like photography we've had students who are photographers mm -hmm. and they'd like to understand how to do portraits yes oh okay so yeah. that's another yeah, thing all together a perspective randy i'm so happy that we're learning that yeah hindi lang siya talaga yung makeup artistry per yes. se mm -hmm. sobrang broad so so many different levels and yes. layers of that you offer in your school oh, oh. so many that we can't even just fit <laughs> all in this episode so if people want to know more about a makeup school of, uh, of artistry how can they learn more about your school yes so mp school uh, please like visit our website yes can i invite them yes yes, yes. yes. it's w www.mpschool.com.ph and we're also on Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, MP School of Makeup Artistry. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Or Makiyaj okay. Professional. All right. <laughs> yeah. So um, they're very responsive. They will reply. So if you have queries, if you want to enroll, go to the Facebook and website. If people just are looking for a makeup artist, can they also find Yes. Okay. Actually, yes, absolutely. I mean, we, the companies that we partner with mm -hmm. for their events, they love working with us because we have a whole okay. uh, yeah, list of makeup artists who are yes. very, very good and well-trained. So if you have different needs, like what you said, you have uh, different types of weddings to different types yes. of events. Oh, events. Yes, and you're looking for a specific kind of artist. You have those professionals. Yes, because we have eight modules. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> eight yeah. modules, a whole range. Okay, uh -huh. so we learned so much from this interview. Absolutely. And I think a man's going to enroll now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah.
Ay, mag i na ako. Oo, I'm gonna be her sky, model. <laughs> <laughs> we look forward to seeing yeah. you there. <laughs> okay, so well, thank you so much, thank ma'am. You. We learned so much. Thank you I so want much. to uh, thank all of our viewers who tuned in and those of you who are interested. We'd also like to invite you to the Arena Week Market. Join us every Saturday and Sunday for fitness and fun and visit our garden, our newest attraction. Yay. Anyone you want to thank? Um, thank you to all of our viewers, international, local. Maraming, maraming salamat yes. po. So these are mornings filled with meaningful business time. Giving you useful advice on how to win at your career. I am Randy Bernardino. I am May and Manzano and this is Daily, Daily Insight. Insight. Thank you.